so what is the difference between accuracy and precision? What do you think the difference is? Accuracy has to deal with the idea of how your data matches up with the true data. So the closer your data is to an accepted value, the more accurate your data is. Precision has to do with if your data agrees with each other. So if your individual measurements are in agreement with each other, then uh, your data is precise. So accuracy has to do with how close your data is with the accepted value, and precision is how close your data is with each other. So let's try this problem so this can help you to see the difference between accuracy and precision. Four students performed an experiment to measure the density of aluminum. And the accepted value for that is 2.7 grams per milliliter. Now let's say that the data here represents the same units. Which data is accurate but not precise? Let's focus on accuracy. Let's start with John. Is his data, is it accurate or is it precise? I mean, is it accurate or is it not? Now, 2.9 is not very close to 2.7, so his data is not accurate. So I'm going to put an A for not accurate. Now, what about Sally's data? Is it accurate? Is it close to 2.7? As you can see, the numbers, they vary widely. They're not close to 2.7 at all. So her data is not accurate. Now, what about Megan? Is her data accurate? Now, relative to John and Sally, Megan's data is pretty close to 2.7. 2.649, 2.73, 2.695, that's very close to 2.7. So we could say that her data is fairly accurate, at least compared to John's and uh, Sally's data. Now, what about Mike? Mike's data is definitely accurate. It's very close to 2.7. Now, let's see whose data is precise. So let's talk about uh, John's data. Is it precise? Do the values agree with each other? And it turns out they do. All of his values, each of his trials is around 2.9. 2.924, 2.923. So those numbers, they're very close to each other. They agree with each other. So John's data, it's precise. Now, what about Sally? Sally's data is not precise. First, it's 2.3, then it's 2.5, then it's 2.9. Those numbers do not agree with each other. They're not close to each other, so it's not precise. And Megan, is her data precise? Her data jumps around, too, kind of like Sally's. Maybe not ex as extreme as Sally's data, but it, it, it's not... It doesn't agree with each other. First is 2.65, then it's 2.73, then 2.695. So it's not very precise. Now Mike's data is precise. 2.701 and 2.699, that's very, very close. I mean, the difference between the trials are about maybe 0 0.002 or 3. So that, that's very close. With John's data, it differs by 0.001. Megan's data, her numbers differ by maybe 0.05 on average. So the lower the difference between the trials, the, each data, the more precise it is. So Mike's data is precise. So we're looking for the student whose data is accurate but not precise. So that would be Megan. So hopefully this problem helps you to see the difference between accuracy and precision. So keep this in mind. Accuracy has to do with how close your numbers are to the accepted value. Megan and Mike's data are accurate because these numbers, they're very close to 2.7. Precision has to do with how close your data agrees with each other. So John's data is precise because these numbers are very close to each other. And Mike's data 
is precise as well because those numbers are very close to each other. So now you understand the difference between accuracy and precision. Thanks for watching.